right here. They're putting me to work. Like that. And you two, <laughs> behind the... Facing me. Yeah, one beside oh. you. <laughs> and lady, do not have mercy because at that time, they didn't have mercy with the slaves, okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When you hear the, the sound of the bell, okay, it's time to begin with work, okay? So oh, when you hear once so again, it's time to finish, okay? Finish. Ready? Finish, like that. <laughs> Faster. 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 Yeah, like one's worse. Uh, oh, she's enjoying that way too much. Yes, I, I love got, it. I'm going to run faster. Faster. On the other side, you faster. can see the juice coming out. Put it on the other side. Yeah. 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 Once again, once again, once More? again. Oh, you're not done yet. This was the way that they used to squeeze sugar cane. So imagine doing this for more than 12 hours. Yeah. It's hard work to do. So they take the juice from the sugar cane and put it into these and boil it down and until it got to a thick substance. And then they would scoop it out and put it into these. And she said they did scrub it or whatever until it became sugar. And uh, not a fun job back in those days. Any day, it wouldn't be a fun job. All the different types of plows they would use to cultivate the fields, I guess. And it's possible that they're kind of going in history from the earliest ones to the ones being pulled by ox, or more ox, and, the, and so forth. So you get to this big sucker for cutting it down and processing the sugar cane. Looks like something out of a Star Trek movie. <laughs> this bottle of Cuban uh, natural alcohol, okay, called with the name Santero. Santero is the name for those um, who practice the African beliefs, okay, brought by Africans just right here. They had their own traditions, their own um, dancings, okay, that's why a representation of a slave just right here. And why in the bottle? Because natural alcohol is the base for the production of all our Cuban rums, like Havana Club and the rest of the rums that we produce here in Cuba, okay? Why we are going to taste canchanchara? Canchanchara comes from the slave's time. The head of the plantations, okay, the head of the sugar business, um, they gave to the slaves at the plantation because of the uh, long works, okay, long uh, working hours and exposed to the sun, okay? They fainted a lot, slaves. So they gave canchanchara, okay, these three ingredients to the slaves because it's kind of energizer and it's really, really, really hot. Instantly, at the very moment, you're not going to feel the hot. But later, one minute, two, you're going to feel it in your stomach and your head. Okay? So, ready? And I'm telling you, it's better with from. Okay? Do not miss this part of the uh, our excursion today, okay? With some? Ron. Con Ron? Crackers? <laughs> No, it has rum included. Without rum, but Ready to sip it live on camera. Oh no, And then we'll take a picture. Yeah. Kind of tastes like the last stuff we had. Definitely stronger. It's a very sweet drink. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, a bunch of fruit juices mixed together with rum. It's like a rum punch. Alright, so after looking at that picture, it looks like the trains would come in with the, uh, the load and drop it 
onto this conveyor belt. And then the conveyor belt would take it up this chute and into the next stage where it looks like it would grind it like Mark and I did. So it goes up there you know, through these grinders. Look at the machinery difference. <laughs> One of the years difference between the one that we we're doing by hand and to this totally huge automated type system. So I guess, like I said, this stuff goes up, falls into here, gets crushed. The juices start to flow. There's a big cog for you. <laughs> and then we just keep going, keep going. All these juices again will go down somewhere and then come out somewhere else possibly into the next building over there where they would uh, superheat it to separate the water from the sugar yeah because it looks like it goes off that way so into that building this is where they stored a lot of equipment from other mills from around the country and they just kind of dump it here so this still has no function except that it's just a museum piece of one of the earlier mo locomotives. Uh, I was just told that they're re-roofing this, repainting it, so it will protect all this stuff uh, from any more weather damage. But uh, yeah, great piece of history. It would have been so awesome to see these in full action back in the day. Look at that. What a thing of beauty. They got their safety ropes on, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> I'll stand on this side. This is cool. You ready? Okay. We gotta go back. Oh, He's not go gonna back? go back. Oh yeah. Oh. You gotta work twice on this ride. Where's your glasses in here? Nice. Thanks for the ride. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a sugar plant museum tour just for you photo 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 yes. <laughs> that's a lot of cow hi caramba that's it This is our last tourery thing for the day. It's like a jet boat ride. Let's do it. Big catfish. Yeah, catfish. So it looks like it's gonna be really windy. So I'm going to put my microphone away because I don't want it to get blown out. This is like beyond wind for this microphone. So I'm just gonna shut it off the mic and just shoot uh, without, without the audio from this thing. Big termite thing, yeah. 
way to end your day off with some exciting boat ride That's for sure. and craziness and camaraderie and and craziness <laughs> so we pulled off the road at this big yellow chair and apparently this is like the place to come for a pina colada let's go and check it out uh, pina colada with rum, pina colada dola. I think you add your own rum. Do you? I think you. Yes. So let's put a bit of Havana. So good. Maybe I take a sip? I don't know. Oh. Okay, you're supposed to put it all. You gotta mix it in. Put your top back on. And then we're ready to go. Yummy. So apparently, this is the most famous place on the island to get a pina colada. And it is made with leche, so Carol had to make one with juice instead of milk, which is leche. And uh, cheers. Cheers. Nice. It's great. This is good. Apparently, they got a table for us down here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Full of pina colada, time to go home. Ready to go home? Ready. Ready. <laughs> <laughs>